Now, a three-year research project conducted by the Granite Innovation Lab has unveiled a concerning reality faced by women small, smallholder farmers engaged in peanut cultivation in two districts of the northern region. According to the study, approximately 60% of these farmers suffer from poverty, highlighting significant challenges in their daily lives. The groundbreaking research, a collaborative effort between Pennsylvania State University and the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, sheds light on the struggles faced by these women and calls for targeted interventions to address the issue. Peanut production, predominantly carried out by women smallholder farmers in northern Ghana, plays a vital role in the region's agricultural landscape. Renowned for its ability to fix nitrogen in the soil, peanuts have become a crucial crop for households with limited access to fertilizers. However, experts in agriculture emphasize that peanut cultivation, from planting to harvesting, is labor-intensive. This aspect of cultivation poses additional challenges for women involved in peanut farming, as many also work as laborers in the fields. To address the issues faced by women smallholder farmers in peanut cultivation, the Feed the Future Granite Innovation Lab project titled Time Poverty Among Women Smallholder Farmers in Ghana was implemented with support from the USAID. The project, a collaboration between Pennsylvania State University and the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, focused on women farmers in the Savalugu and Tolon districts. The study revealed that over 50% of women smallholder farmers engaged in granite cultivation work more than 10 hours daily. Dr. Edward Marty, the principal investigator with the Peanut Innovation Lab project, explained the significance of the research findings during an interview with Noah Nash in Tamale. Women allocate to farm activities is usually more than that of the men. So the issue is the women will do more work on the field and they also have to come back to the house to also prepare food I mean wash dishes take care of the elderly and the children so basically you find a lot of women who are time poor and that is why development practitioners over the years have tried to bridge that gap and find a way of reducing women drudgery you are able to reduce women drudgery the time that is safe, they can now invest that time in more remunerative activities that will bring in money. And when women get money, they tend to, I mean, to focus more in terms of nutrition within the household, also take care of their children's school fees. The principal investigator and professor for rural sociology and science, technology and society at the Pennsylvania State University, Leland Klenner, echoed the importance of developing interventions that are tailored towards the needs of these women to enhance their livelihood. Different accesses to resources, different and other kinds of things that um, perhaps empower people differently to recognize that some interventions need to be tailored to the needs of women. If we really want to enhance the well-being of the entire household, we must be more active in understanding um, how women can fully participate, uh, not just in the household, but in the society more broadly. The peanut value chain outside of the household, and I think that is another way of looking at it is, for instance, uh, if you introduce uh, labor-saving technologies in the household, that might free up women to work outside of the household. Stakeholders in the peanut value chain have also called for integrated funding in the sector to enhance the processing quality 